Hi, my name is Steve Maruzzi. We're here at the Training Center. We're going to talk about the Mascot LX, uh, how to get into the program for central heat, domestic hot water, and outdoor reset. Uh, before we get started, anytime you're servicing a piece of equipment or replacing a component, you must shut off gas and electric prior to making that repair. So to start, uh, our boiler is powered up, our display is live, it's gone through its synchronization process. And right here, our down arrow is highlighted, that's telling us the outlet uh, sensor of the boiler. Uh, and you can simply scroll by pressing the up or down arrows. Uh, this one here is now inlet, press it again, uh, it's showing delta T. So what I want to do is highlight the outlet arrow, okay, uh, which is right here. By highlighting the outlet arrow, very simply press and hold the select button and release it. You'll see SET for setting. All of the boilers are defaulted for 120 degrees. For this example, we're going to use 180 degrees, so baseboard heat, uh, for example. So very simply, with SET on the screen, press and hold your up arrow and increase it to your desired set point. So if you have in-floor radiant, you may not want greater than 130 degrees. Uh, if you have hydro air, you may only want 160. Uh, but for this example, I'm going to give you a set point of 180. So I've increased with the up arrow to 180. I press and hold the select button and release it, and that will store it. The next step is we're going to set up domestic hot water. This is a combination boiler, uh, so I'm just going to use my up arrow to highlight the faucet symbol. And once I'm there and the, the faucet symbol is highlighted, press and hold the select, release it, and SET will appear. That stands for set. Now you can increase or decrease your set point. So for this example, I'm just going to drop it down to 118 and press select. So now I have a central heat set point of 180 and a domestic hot water on the combination boiler of 118. You can adjust that domestic hot water higher, but keep in consideration scald factor. Uh, so don't adjust it past your local state codes. The next step we're going to get into is in the installer mode to set up our outdoor reset. Choose the down arrow and the select button, hold them simultaneously, until U00 appears on the screen. Once U00 appears on the screen, press the select button and that should flash. We need to increase this value, which is 0, to 15, so increase that to 15. And all of this information is in the INO manuals and the startup guides. Once 15 is on the screen, press select again. Now we're into the installer mode. Now we have to set up the outdoor reset curve. So I'm going to choose my down arrow, and I'm going to scroll to parameter 61. With P61 on the screen, press select. Now P61 will flash. This is for our low outdoor air temperature and that's defaulted for 25 degrees. For this example, I'm going to choose my low outdoor air temperature for 10 degrees. So once I have 10 degrees on the screen, press select again, and now that's programmed. So, for 10 degrees or below, we will now achieve 180 degrees. Next, I'm going to choose my up arrow and choose the value of P62, which is the high set point for the heating curve. Uh, it's defaulted for 180. You can change it to 180, 182, uh, or if you're using in-floor radiant, maybe you don't want that heat to ever go above 130 degrees. So you can simply change that value. Um, very simply, once you're in there, press select. After it flashes, now you can change that value if needed. But for our example, I'm going to leave that at 180. I'm going to press select again, and P62 stop flashing. The next parameter we want to change is P63, which is our high outdoor air temperature. It's defaulted for 70 degrees. I'm going to press the select button. Once it's flashing, now I can change that value. So for this, I'm going to choose the high end of 68 degrees. And I'll explain this in a chart in a minute. Um, so with 68 on the screen, I'm going to press select. Next, I'm going to go to parameter 64 which is our low set point for our boiler temperature for the heating curve. With P64 on the screen, press select and you can make that adjustment. Here, I'm going to keep it at 120, press select, and P62 
P64 will stop flashing. And lastly, we want to get into warm weather shutdown. So I'm going to press the up arrow to P65, press select, and now I'm going to change that value. So for this example, I'm going to change my warm weather shutdown to 70 degrees. So anytime it's 70 degrees or above, the heat will not come on, only to domestic hot water. Once that's done, I'll press my select button. It stops. To get out of the user mode, simply press and hold the select button and it will go back to its normal operation. Okay, so our P61, which was our low outdoor temperature, was set for 10 degrees. Our P62, which is the high set point for the heating curve, was 180 degrees. P63, the high outdoor air temperature, was 68 degrees. P64 was the low set point for the heating curve, which is 120 degrees. And warm weather shutdown was 70 degrees. So here is the chart. So for an example, at 10 degrees of outdoor air or below, we would achieve 180 degree supply temperature. At 30 degrees of outdoor air temperature, we would supply approximately 160 degrees to the baseboard. And at 68 degrees or above, we would only deliver 120 degrees. Please follow the manuals, startup guides. If you have any technical questions, you can contact the factory at one 800 900-9276. Thank you.